Hello guys, welcome back to Develop with Saro YouTube channel. Now in this video, we will generate this report card using Spring Boot and MySQL database. Now you can see that in this report card, I have added this role number field. For this tutorial, you only have to add role number field, which is of type integer. So let's compile this report. Open project, right click on student scorecard. Go to Jasper reports and select compile report. You can see that .jasper file is created. Now I will show you how you can integrate Jasper reports with Spring Boot application and MySQL database. Now I have created this generate report Spring Boot application. Now I will explain you this project. Let's open pom.xml. You can see that. You can see that my group ID is com.sauranet. Artifact ID is generate report. I'm using Java 17 version. And most important dependencies. You can see that I have added MySQL connector jar dependency, uh, Lombok and net.sf.jasper reports. And uh, Jasper reports version is 6.21.3. Now I am you. I have added this uh, Jasper reports dependency from uh, Maven repository. You can search for Maven repository like Jasper reports jar Maven repository. Open the Maven repository website. Now here select your particular Jasper Soft Studio version. You can see that in Jaspersoft Studio under help, you will see about Jaspersoft Studio. And there you can see that your version like 6.21.3. So make sure your Jaspersoft Studio version and the library you are including should be same. So I will select 6.21.3 and you can see that here you will get dependency tag. So if you click this, it will be copied to your clipboard and you can then add to your pom.xml in uh, Spring Boot application. Now let's open application.yaml or application.properties file. You can see that here our application name is generate report and data source URL is jdbc colon mysql colon 127 which is local host and database name is student create database if not exist is to true. This means that if database is not created already, it will create a database. And username is root, password is mysql at the rate 12345. And driver class name is mysql com.mysql.cg.jdpc.driver. Here are some JPA properties DDL auto update, show SQL true, format SQL true, and our server port is 9090. Now let's open src directory under main java resources. You can see that in this we have generate report spring boot application. So my focus is on Jasper reports integration with spring boot and MySQL. So explaining spring boot will be out of context for this tutorial, but I will explain each and every functionality. You can also find project code github link in the description. You can see that under com.sauranet.reports package, we have controller entities, reports and services utils package packages. So I will explain each one by one. Now let's open entities package. You can see that here we have two entities. One is student entity and other is scorecard entity. Let's open student entity now you can see that in student entity we have five fields that is integer type role number name which is of type string year advisor and grading period which are also of type string you can see that in our report we have this exact same fields name year advisor and role number with exact same type of variables. 
and similarly in scorecard entity we have id of type integer subject name total marks and marks obtained which are of type double you can see that in our report if we open this table element and inside this table element under table data set under fields you can see that we have that same exact fields which are subject name total marks and marks obtained which is of type double and you can see that student entity is related to scorecard entity by one to many relationship that means one student can have many scorecards this relationship is managed in scorecard report by this student field so you can see that in scorecard we have many to one relationship and we have used here mapped by student field so this this means that student and scorecard relationship will be managed by scorecard table so in database it will create two tables student and scorecard and scorecard table will have roll number column which is referring to student roll number as foreign key now let's open repositories package now in this we have two repositories one is student repository and other is student scorecard repository you can see that it extends jpa repository and entity it extends jpa repository and entity is of type student scorecard and integer and in student repository similarly we have student type of entity and an integer type of primary id you can see that in entities we have student which has role number as pri primary key and and in scorecard we have this id of type integer which is primary key okay now let's open services package in this we have two services student service and scorecard service you can see that in student repository we have this get all students method this uh, get student by id method and in scorecard service we have get all scorecards and get scorecards by student id this will return list of scorecards now under utils package we have this report util class it, you can see that in a report util class we have this generic method generate report which returns byte array and it has three parameters data jasper path and parameters and it throws jr exception and io exception you can see that here we have created jasper report object by using this jr loader class and this class is coming from net.sf.jasper reports engine jr loader and we have given jasper file path as argument to this jr loader class and here you can see that we are creating jr bin collection data source and we are passing this data to this jr bin collection data source class and here we are checking if parameters are null then empty hash map is initialized as parameters then empty hash map is assigned to parameters variable and here we are creating jasper print object from jasper field manager class which takes jasper report which takes jasper report object parameters and data source object and here we are using jasper export manager class to export our jasper print object and and by using jasper export manager class we are exporting jasper print object to byte array output stream and finally it will return byte array output stream to byte array okay now let's open a report controller class you can see that 
This class is annotated with at the rate REST controller which makes it web controller that controls data as JSON or other formats. We also have request map mapping as slash API slash v1 slash reports to define the base URL for all the endpoints in this controller. Additionally, we are using at the rate require arcs constructor from Longbox which automatically generates a constructor for the final fields in this class. This controller depends on a student service class injected using private final student service. The student service fetches the student data from the database based on their roll number. Now let's look at the main method generate student report. It has gate mapping as slash student slash roll number and the whole API endpoint will be slash API slash v1 slash reports slash student slash roll number. This endpoint takes a student roll number as path variable, generates a PDF report and returns it as a downloadable file. Now step one is fetching the student. In the first step, we fetch the student details based on the roll number using our service. You can see that student service dot get student by id roll number. If roll number is null or invalid, you can handle you can handle it with an empty placeholder student object for testing. Now next step is loading the Jasper file. Next we specify the path to our pre-compiled Jasper file. This Jasper file is located in src main resources reports folder and named student scorecard dot jasper we are fetching absolute path of the file here now we have created this hash map which has key of type string and value of type object next we have created this data source object of type jr bean collection data source and we are passing student scorecards to this data source and we are putting this data source object in our parameters hash map where we are setting key as table underscore data underscore source and value will be data source object. We are setting this table underscore data underscore source name because we have in our report card in order to pass data to this table uh, we have created this parameter table data source. You can see that we have created this table data source parameter which is of type JR bean collection data source and in table data set we have selected that parameter as table underscore data underscore source that we have created in this main report. Again pay attention that we have created table data source object we have created table data source parameter in main report and we are using this parameter as data set in table data source. So next we are using report util class in order to generate our PDF in byte stream. We are passing our students jasper file path and parameters as a byte stream data and finally we are returning this pdf as a response okay guys now let's run this project you can see that our application is started You can see that Hibernate created our scorecard and student table. It has added foreign key constraint. Now let's open our MySQL workbench. Here you can see that if I refresh, you can see that student database is created. You can see that we have student table and scorecard table. So select rows for scorecard, select rows. You can see that in student we have roll number, 
advisor grading period name and year and similarly in scorecard we have id obtained marks obtained subject name total marks and rule number foreign key so let's add some data in these tables you can open this github repository and find all the code related to this project so let's insert some data into student table i will copy this You can see that I have added some data in student table. So similarly, let's add data in student scorecard. You can see that I have added some data in student scorecard. Okay. Now we will test our application. Now our application is running on port 9090 and our API URL is API slash v1 slash reports slash student and student role number. So let's fire this in postman. You can see that I have created one get request on http colon double slash localhost colon 9090 slash api slash v1 slash reports slash student and role number is one we have already added this uh, student in our database so let's send the request you can see that our report card is generated now if we copy this url and fire it in a browser You can see that our student report card is generated. You can see that here our scorecard is generated. And this data is coming from database. 